I wanted to talk to you today about something slightly off topic for my channel, specifically snowflakes. To me, the snowflake kind of represents the uh, epitome of transition and sort of a power system in the physical universe. Um, I was watching uh, uh, the video of a skier starting at the top of a pristine mountain range. He was dropped off by a helicopter. And at the top of the range, he kicked up a little bit of snow as he was uh, descending this very steep mountain. And as he kicked up a little bit of snow, you could sort of see it dusting up. And then all of a sudden, as the snow started to slide down the mountain, um, it accumulated into an avalanche that was chasing the skier as he progressed, um, kind of daredevilish type activity. But to me, if you go back to like the very essence of like, like how that huge avalanche started, it started with a simple snowflake, an individual snowflake um, that accumulated with a bunch of other snowflakes. And as I have been sort of investigating magnetically coupling, uh, a snowflake is essentially the crystallization of uh, water vapor in the upper atmosphere and it forms bonds and the bonds um, orient themselves um, so that they form like a hexagonal shape. And the reason they do this is because of the pattern of the water molecule itself being uh, oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. And so the systems that I've been developing are really about like kind of the accumulation, like a snowflake of a lot of small things. So I designed these arrays of magnets uh, that are axial polarized uh, around and held in an, uh, an aluminum uh, holder with bearings so that the magnet uh, can spin around a central axis. And these you know, sort of foundational system of small um, little you know, magnetic arrays spinning um, kind of replicate the physical world in the you know, like a snowflake, these are hexagonal shapes. And as they rotate, they have both a strong and weak field interaction um, that you can see in the, you know, background. So as they couple together, they could be in like a linear shape and transfer energy. And this is no contact. This is just the magnetic fields interaction. Um, so, you know, as you develop sort of patterns of architectures of these smaller arrays, and they are planar concave shapes, um, and this allows for uh, more of a projected strong and weak field at these nodes uh, where the gap angles between the magnets occur. Um, so as you develop architectures of these systems, what happens is the kind of strong and weak field interactions um, direct kinetic energy. And as you move out from the center, they're counter-rotational. And so what happens is that the kinetic energy from the external ones actually contribute to the driving force in the center of the array. And I've had this connected to a, you know, a AC motor and generator and spun at, you know, 9,000 RPM. And there's some interesting effects that occur um, with this non-contact transfer of kinetic energy. Um, so, you know, I know that uh, 
in developing this, there's been you know a great deal of interest in, from all sorts of you know uh, people all over the internet. And you know I'm looking you know kind of for this you know I guess needle in a haystack, a, a strategic partner that understands that you know kind of what I'm suggesting is some really interesting um, types of new energy systems. Because what happens is in this counter-rotational system, um, it's spun at really high speeds, it has a type of gyroscopic effect. And when gyroscopes are spinning at really high speeds in close proximity in the same system, um, they have a moment that gets canceled out because of the um, counter-rotation. But this does produce some really interesting stability systems. And this counter-rotational gyroscopes are in use, of course, in you know, spaceships and stuff. But this type of counter-rotational gyroscopic system, um, magnetically coupled um, and spun at really high speeds, um, could produce some really interesting new types of um, mechanical systems um, and as I said the kind of the exterior rays um, as they spin connect you know generate kinetic energy into the whole system so the whole system you know has acts kind of as a flywheel and that it has a you know, a contained angular momentum through counter-rotational generation of all of the individual arrays. Um, I know that this is, uh, you know, not a widget or a gidget that's like, you know, something that's like shows an improvement on an existing system currently, but the um, possibilities of developing new types of systems with this kind of um, counter-rotational, magnetically coupled system, um, you know, could have a, a lot of advantages in developing new types of energy systems. Um, thank you for watching. Um, you can contact me at heliemagnetics at gmail.com through the interwebs if you are interested in finding out more please follow my channel